Alright, I want to talk today about a cool little program that can help you do a lot of really great things. If you're like me, sometimes you have multiple machines that you actually need to use at the same time. Sometimes you have them side by side. Sometimes it's two screens, sometimes it's two laptops. Maybe it's even more than that. You don't want to switch between two mice, two keyboards, things like that. So for years there's been a hardware device called a KVM. It's a keyboard, video, and mouse switch. This really is great when you have that and it lets you use a single monitor, single keyboard, and single mouse for actually controlling those devices. Sometimes you actually have the monitor, the keyboard, the mouse, but you only have the you already have the monitors you need connected to these machines. So what this program barrier does is it gives you the ability to set up the devices in a software situation where it's a software KVM. So I've got my terminal here and the way you install this on Ubuntu is sudo snap install then you do dash dash edge this is not a stable repository yet barrier. This is the command you'll use. I've already run this. It's already installed on my machine but this is the command you would type into the Ubuntu system with snapd set up. So basically 18.04 or later. If you're doing it on a version before that, you may have to install SnapD first. There are instructions out there on the internet to do that, but I'll try to remember to add links in the show notes for how to do that. Then you install Barrier. Uh, if you've ever heard of Synergy, Barrier is uh, a fork of that Synergy uh, repository. So Synergy was open source and then it became closed source and proprietary. So Barrier is that open source and Synergy used to work pretty well. Um, but we're going to try this version called Barrier and see how it works. So I'm just going to go back and I'm going to go open up Barrier. And it's going to open up a nice little wizard for you. So I'm going to make this machine the server. It's got the keyboard and mouse connected. So when you do the setup, you have to choose what it's going to be. This machine's going to be the server because it has the actual keyboard and mouse physically connected. Any other machines would then be the clients. It doesn't have the keyboard and mouse I want to use, so I want to use the one on the machine I'm on now. I'm going to say finish, and the first thing it does is go grab all of my network information, my IP address, my host name for the machine, and that gives me the ability to set up the other machine when I'm ready. These have to be on the same network. So if they're not on the same actual network, the same LAN, you may have to do some virtual networking, set up a VPN, maybe set up something like WireGuard. Um, you can set up something like uh, any kind of VPN, OpenVPN as well. I'm going to go and say configure the server. So right now I don't have any other machine set up. So that's kind of the next thing we need to do. So we're going to switch over and do some stuff on this Mac that I'm going to control. It's going to be a little tricky to show you, but I'm going to set it up and I'll record the Mac screen and show you what's happening as I move the mouse back and forth. So I've got it set up and I'm going to set up to record the screen. All right. So I went and got the barrier application, the DMG, and I installed it. You do have to give it permission to install and control your device on the Mac. So I've done that. I've got it installed, and I'm going to run through the wizard on it. So this one I'm going to set up as the client. And again, it gives me the information for this machine, which is the IP address that it has and everything like that. And it is 192.168.7.181. It also has my Neo router IP address there. So that's a nice little um, wide area network, local area network kind of VPN setup. Um, so I don't need to set up the server. I do need to give it the IP address. Um, so if I start typing, it's not going to type. I need to uncheck this auto config checkbox and then it'll let me type. So 192.168.7 dot, and let me look here on the other machine, and dot 178. So I'm gonna go back to the Mac and finish typing that in. And now I've typed that in, and here on my server, I'm gonna hit start. And it's gonna pop up and just let me know that I can 
that it's started and I can close the configuration screen if I want to but we're not done so don't do that yet on the Mac I'm going to click start and it's going to give us a similar message on the Mac side um, we can just it wants to know if we trust the fingerprint yes we do um, and that's running so we want to go back to the server side now you have to have a separate keyboard or mouse for these parts up till now um, but I'm going to set up the server so I'm going to drag a machine down here to the left because that's where the actual monitor is and that's how you position where they are just by dragging them to the position they're in I'm going to double click on that to open this up and I'm going to identify it I want to give it the same name so I've highlighted that here um, so it's just everything there exactly the same as it's typed capitalization spacing everything for your host name of your client machine Get that typed in and I'm not going to change any of the settings here you can change what the hotkeys are you can change some of the other settings here as well you can change where the dead corners I'm not going to do any of that just going to leave it the reason I gave it that exact same name is it makes it easier to identify here in this view but it also makes sure that it understands which machine I'm using as a client. Um, if you don't set that, you could see some problems, so make sure you set that correctly. You can do some advanced settings with hotkeys. You can do a lot of different advanced settings. You can set up switch after waiting, so some things where you can set some timers and delays if you want to. You can check for the clients every so often to make sure they're still there. A lot of things on advanced settings to fine tune it. I'm going to leave it as it is for now. I'm going to say reload. And then I'm going to go to the Mac side again and just reload the client. And we're going to see if those connect here and they should. Um, yeah, so I get the pop-up message and my mouse has disappeared, which is what I would expect. That's a good sign actually. So I bring it over now. I'm using the mouse that's on my Ubuntu server side. And I can scroll to the left and it comes up on the Mac. Scroll to the right, it comes up on, on the Ubuntu. So back and forth, which is what I want. So I'm going to click OK on this message. Just telling us that we can get rid of the configuration screen. And I'm going to go ahead and close the configuration. It's not going to hurt anything to do that. I'm going to do the same thing back here on the Ubuntu side. So from this point on, I'm using the same mouse and keyboard for both of these machines. So I'm going to open up the terminal. And I'm actually going to use Windows and Space, which should open up Finder here. And it does. So in this case, the Windows key acts like the Command key on the Mac. So I'm just typing all this in from that keyboard that's really connected to my Ubuntu machine. So here I can type a couple of commands, just do ls maybe, and then we'll just do clear, and so everything's working there. Now I've got the ability to move between two machines using the same keyboard and mouse, and you can set these up side by side on external monitors. You can set these up with multiple monitors, it doesn't matter. Um, you can set it up to control four different machines at once, three different machines at once, six different machines doesn't matter so maybe you work in a place that has a control center and you've got four or five machines that you're using to do different things now you can control them with same mouse and keyboard and not have this big clutter up on your desk and it's really fluid which is great I wanted to give a quick tutorial on this it's really amazing I really like it put the links in the show notes so you can find it and you can install it and host it on your own machines um, if you like this video I hope that you will like and subscribe and leave me some feedback. Leave me comments. Uh, help me improve. Thank you very much.